why why does this calculation Stephen did? Why has it got no information? Why does it say there's no information in this radiation? The thing is, it's coming from the horizon. So it's all one. There's loads of ways to think about it, but w one way is that th this this weird place, this point of no return in space, that you can fall through, but it's a point of no return. It sort of shakes. It almost disrupts the vacuum of space, and sort of almost shakes particles out of the vacuum. That's one way of thinking about it. But this radiation is coming from the vacuum. It's coming from empty space. Whereas if you think about the thing that I throw in, if I throw this, this notepad into the thing, then that goes to the singularity. It's got nothing to do, the, the radiation's got nothing to do with this thing. This thing's not, this is thing, it's not set on fire or something like that. It's, it's gone to the end of time and just whatever's happened to it has happened to it. So, so this radiation's got nothing to do with anything that falls in at first sight at least. And so that was the paradox. It's called the black hole information paradox. It's like, it's, one way to put it is the laws of nature that we use to calculate what happens tell us that information is never destroyed. And when you calculate what happens, it tells us that information is destroyed. So that's why everyone got interested in it in, in the 80s, because it's interesting.